Back again in this beautiful dojo in Mainz. It's the Aikido, do uh, Aikido dojo in Mainz. Uh, and uh, the chief is Camilla Mubis sensei. And she's a four star in Aikido, but um, I would say she can introduce herself. Yeah. So, yeah. Hi, hello, my name is Camilla Mubis. I have been practicing Aikido in Kashimano Tanshi in ancient uh, Samurai Sports School for several decades. Um, my style actually was focused on Kostor Tissi and Amita Kuda, and later then on Kant Mastaina Bosen Seno from the Shizikan Kuda in Tokyo. I think that's enough for my background. That's cool. And, uh, Camilla and I, we know each other for like, oh man, 16, 16 years, I mean, it's, it's oh, long, oh. or even more, so it's a really long time. Today, so let's start directly with uh, the seminar. Um, today we are talking about the uh, uh, right? Yeah. So, and um, we, I mean, there are so many different ways how to do it. So, we said, okay, we are just doing two. Mm -hmm. And um, so, and just like the project says, try to build in uh, vital points, tissue jitsu points, work a little bit with body mechanical aspects, and just showing in ideas. And the, the idea about this is like, not, of course, I'm not doing Aikido. That up front, I'm not an Aikido guy. So, during the whole thing, please don't look for my Aikido style that I don't have. Just, just try to, uh, just try to uh, get the information. Of course, what I try to do is to build in the Kyushu Jitsu points, work with some of the mechanics that I work with, and just cross-sharing ideas. Uh, with and the main idea is just when we share, and not everybody is running around like this. Everybody has the opportunity to grow. So. I would say let's start. Yes. So I'm, I'm really okay. excited about the first one. Yeah, okay. We do it now today uh, in, the, in a very traditional way. Um, so that's the first thing students has to learn. Um, the basic, uh, some basic principles. And we do it in, um, because Katana Dori Irvinado. Of the pain factor, 
you have like two kinds of reactions through something or away from something. Basically, when you use points, you create pain and you create a, a way from reaction which makes you moving and bring it up. So that would, would be the arm. So when you work from here and you bring down there, so when I bring it over here, what I have seen to do this, my hand here is perfectly on bottom of the 20. So double letter 20, you have to be careful with that when you practice it. Because if you hit double letter 20 pretty, pretty hard, the plausibility that it gets unconscious is very high. Okay? So, I'm not going to do that, but just to show you it's like here, and I just catch it a little bit here. Okay, so it will be just instead of placing the arm like this and lean him, you hit him and lean him to go into the next to go into the next technique. I see that in, in many many styles, especially when they grab somewhere to lead someone somewhere. It's always like just different thing. Um, when they grab here, it's always like they grab the pull. They grab the pull. They can also hit grab and pull. So there's, it's just like, why do not add the hit? If the point works, great. If not, changes nothing. Okay, that's the basic idea of that. So, like, like here, you have hard two. You can bring him here, you hit him here, and when you, when you come back, you have several options. Okay, I like two of them. You have, when you go with your fingers, just turn it over. Next to the Adam's apple, you have the, uh, stomach nine. Stomach nine, if you press it upward, brings him up. If you bring it downward, brings him down. Okay, so you also you bring him here, you hit him there, you bring him somewhere high, and you spread him down with the finger. So, which would be an upward, downward move. Okay, that would be one option for a head point. Another option, those always using that a lot, I'm, I'm a huge fan of those of you. And um, you always see him pound the stuff of five point from, from here. Okay, he's always doing stuff like he's coming here, then he is there, and he's just pounding stuff of five right from there. So just doing this. Okay, so that would be like some points for this application to work with. I would say, I mean, there are so many possibilities, but just for this application, I think that's, that's, that's enough. So, just to repeat, you have a couple of hard two, okay, where you hit the double letter 20 and then you bring them up and down, or you have a hard two. You hit the double letter 20, you have stomach 9 here. You can get stomach, I like to get stomach 5 with these two fingers. Or with these two fingers. Okay? And I'm pretty trained to use that. You can also just use your hand like this and just slide it in. So once you place your fingers on the side of his neck, not just on, on the side of his neck, the knuckle is directly on. Uh, Stop now. Okay? So you can use it. I personally prefer the fingers. Of course, it gives me more, it gives me more flexibility to work with. Uh, one question. This crap or you hit also? Can it or you can, can you, you can hit this also? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you can be there, you can hit it, mm -hmm. grab it, and do the same thing. Mm -hmm. But for this application, I think of course you did the hit here yes. and you did this move. Yeah. To, to go around and do something so instead of hitting
hitting here and bringing around like this. I thought it's the same move, it's the upward move, and I bring it around like this to bring it back. So I try to use the same move for um, for this interpretation, just to put some points in, let's say, the school application. Okay, before we get more free. So what is what is what is the other one that you want to show? Yeah, one question yeah. for maybe it's interesting for the others also. Um, do you have to bury hard? Is, is there a, a need to, to bury uh, to push uh, uh, or hold or very hard to hit there at uh, the points or how is it? What's for training there is no point in hitting hard. Okay. For training there is no point in hitting hard. Yeah, so okay, that's, if you're in a fight, there's another Right. For, for training to get the reactions, there is no need to hit someone really, really hard. Okay. Okay, of course, okay. what, what the points does, I mean, points can be used in different ways. I know there's a big discussion about the points and if they work or not or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit about that discussion because for me it's like, I do the same move anyway. So, if the point works in that palm, for example, on the way back on the stock five, and he drops and it's knocked out, great. If not, I still have the same technique. It changes nothing. Yeah. It's just an add-on, and by working the points and becoming more specific with the with the um, mechanics that you need to activate the points, the chance becomes bigger and bigger and bigger that something drops. But if he's not dropping, you still have to do the work. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, the other is also in the final, but we change the attack. Okay, yeah. cool. So, the, for the red, now we can fit because from the cheese, and we go inside behind him, and then we all put the same. Yeah, the sense from the final, yeah, is always. Later, yeah, it's hot. Okay. 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 Like the triple, the triple one or thirteen down there. If you can hit, it's uh, a shoulder this way. You have the triple one or thirteen right here. You have the hard two point right here, and you have the MV twenty eight over here. So you can instead of just doing this as an entry to move him. So you see, I show it on this side. I'm just bringing my hand up and hitting nothing. On the way in, I can hit something. Okay. So instead of just going by it. You know, not hit anything. I can just hit it, go up, and do the same, same thing. So for this one, so, uh, do same, same throw. So here, triple warmer, triple warmer 13. Okay. Most people are familiar with triple warmer 12. So when you have the arm like this, it's right there. Tr triple warmer 13 is the best way to hit it. It's a little bit down from here, and then you feel also this little zing in the arm. So when he's coming like that, it's right over there. And it's an easier point to hit. Of course, it's an upward motion that I have to do anyway during this technique. It's an upward motion. Instead of when I hit the hard two point, it's an outward motion. I mean, I can do this the same way. But that would be actually not with the rock, it would be just with a hit. And then we basically can use the same, we basically can use the same point. Okay, so you may be better this side. So you can hit here, you have the down by the 20, you can hit him there if you're a little bit more around there. So you have a line of points. You have the down by the 20 over here. You have the large minus 18 over there. You have the stomach nine a little bit more in front. So depending on where I stay for all the people that say, yeah, well, you're not able to hit this one point. I don't really care about which point I hit. 
I either hit this one, this one, or this one. I have to put the number 16 over there. So I hit one of them. And the great thing is they all work the same way. So because boom, I hit it, I drop my arm, and of course it's a motion that goes like this. From the school motion. I don't hit upwards, I just drop it downwards to bring it up. Okay, so it's just downward cut through this point. A left point that you can use, of course, you are going by A, just from this side. So when I'm here and I'm not hitting here right now, again. I enter, and I have the dot by the 31, 32 right on the outside. So I just enter here to bring it down. So I just can bump my knee from the dot by the 31, 32 to make it buckle like this, and that's all I need. Of course, everything I need is a distraction or a loose of his balance. I have to bring him on the balance. So, this is bringing out the balance. I just do this in this direction. Yeah? This is bringing him out of balance also. Okay, so of course you're stepping, course you're stepping in here anyway. It's very simple to use. This point. Awesome. Okay? So, just as an idea. So, uh, that would be like a leg point that you can use. You can use that also with the first version. So, when you're here and you grab him, you place your foot, bring him down, you hit it here, you can bring it there, and you can bring it here. So, I'm just playing around a little bit. Again, I'm not doing really IT this, so I don't look for my foot. Take the ideas, okay? It's not about that. There's another interesting aspect about this. This, it's always this down, up, down. Or another thing, what I like even more, and I learned that from Tony Anessi, um, down, out, down. So he's always like, he goes down, then he goes out, and he goes down. So when you look at this, when you look at this, right, when you look at this technique, this goes down, up, and out, and down again. So, um, and you have that quite a lot, and this is not like, this is not like fighting application, like this technique is also not fighting application, but it's an interesting concept to play with, to play with this. Body mechanics, which means um, he's coming, we go down, out, down. Okay, so it would be like the same, the same thing. Down, out, and there he already fits. Uh, like he's losing his balance. And you can do that here. So it's like same thing. You drop. This is playing, this is not fighting, it's just understanding how my center works or how my center works affect his center. Of course, I always tell my students, arm moves arm, center moves center. So you have to move someone who is your center in order to attack his center, you have to move yours. If I'm just trying to go here and so This is not working. But if I say, and I go, and I go down, there it is. Down, down, down. It's a really, really cool concept. And, uh, maybe also a shout out to Tony and Essie and, and, and still working your stuff. And I uh, always try to give credit. So when you see that, uh, really, really interesting. Um, so, what is important for the point when you work with this principle? I can't just go there and just go and say, do something to see there is no real reaction. Of course, arm moves arm. Nothing. Center moves center. So it's just going in there. It feels different. Okay? 
say, when he holds my wrist, or when he has you in a headlock, or when he has your wrist, to say, okay, you do this to me. And this is important to learn solution. But there are so many variations in reality. So this is like, this is not a fighting blow. This is becoming creative. Okay, my goal is, I can do so many other stuff there. But my ultimate goal is to make a minari. So I work myself to be able to do just this one technique. I'm allowed to hit, I'm allowed to kick or whatever. But my ultimate goal is to get to the Illuminati. Okay? So and then you can just play a little bit and have good fun. And uh, just do this. And I'm trying just to be gentle with that. When you get this, build in points. So you build in, build in the points that you hit in a little bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, slow again, so it just is like you hit it here, hit it here, and just bring it up. Or the other point that you hit it, oh, so I use that uh, about 31, 32. Just put them in, and like I said, make the attacks free. And not only just one attack, let it attack several times. So you have to, to apply to it. So it's not working all the time, but just playing. Okay, and the more you do that with each and every of these main techniques that you learn, the more freedom you have in your movement. So that's I take on that. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, we are almost done. Yeah, we are almost done. It was very, very nice and very likely to do this yeah, with us uh, in Sweden. Yeah, but yeah, not. Pleasure is mine. Pleasure is mine. I hope you too. And thank you very much. And thank yeah. You. Thank you for taking your time. And guys, if you are in mind, if you want to train in this really, really beautiful dog, I mean beautiful dojo, just ring her up. Yeah, if I can go once in a month, I'm here doing my training also, so yeah. uh, feel free to contact us. If you want to have some contacts with me, just write it down there or write me a message. If you want to have contact to Camilla, you can write me a message about having contact to and I can give your telephone number or whatever. Right, in October we have a seminar uh, for uh, remembering seminar for Akita Kula, your your student. Yeah. So if you like that, that will be part of I think what I teach there. So and if you like, you will be more than welcome to join. Yeah. And yeah. So you guys mentioned it. Yes. Yes. Thank you for being bookies and for, well, it was not really painful, but <laughs> I, 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 you know, I, I try to be polite. I think it's more about the, 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 it, it, it's about the learning and about the information, and you can play with it and uh, make it how hard you want. Always think about this. If you do something on someone, he is doing it back to you, at least in future. So if you hit someone in future very hard, after that, it's his, or it's his turn, and he's going to hit back. So, uh, I don't know how it's, that is done in my field, but I think it's pretty much the same. I think people are all everywhere the same. So, thank you guys for taking your time. Yeah, thank you. Uh, joining in. Um, I'm opening Zoom right now. And for everyone who has questions about the points, the concepts, or any other topic, um, Feel free, free to join us there, and um, uh, we can talk face to face. Remember, only um, rule to join is you have to put your camera on. Of course, I want to see who I talk to. So, um, yeah. Thank you all for being here, and um, I wish you a great Saturday, 
and a really amazing weekend. And see you the next time when I do the next seminar. Uh, I think that will be with David. It will be about Wincham. So looking forward to that. Hey, goodbye, guys.